piercing ears. So we take our space from earlier. Take our powder. I always use the bath mat. Sprinkle the powder on the bottom of it. I do one at a time. Take my adhesive spray. This is what I use. Spray the, the post. Sticky side. Spray the post. This is non-sticky. This is sticky side. Take it. Put it in the air. This side first. Put it in. Make sure you push it down good that it's in the air. And this is important. Make sure you touch the tip to the top of the space. And push the air up. Make sure you get inside the air. And get everything pressed in really nice. So the air is really straight. This part's important. Up top here, see how we got a piece of tape? I always put the tape about maybe a half inch on the top of the tip of the ear. Leave the rest of it. Stop, Ginger. Stop, Ginger. So you can cut the rest of it off. You don't want that much. You just want the tip. And it gets sticky. Everything's sticky. And then I just push it on to hold the tip up. That's all I do for this ear until the next one. So we do this all over again. Do the powder. Tend to waste more. Spray. And puppies get very impatient when this happens because they don't like it very much. Pop it in the ear. Down in. Just a wiggle. Stretch the ear to the top. It's very important you stretch the ear. Make sure the ear is in the middle of the stay up top. Top. Hold it over. Add your scissors. You're being a good model, Ginger. Cut that little piece off. You never know how long you're going to need it. Press down really hard to make sure that tip stays in there. So now you have the beginning of your ear posting. I make sure I press them really good. Make sure that adhesive is sticking to the inside of the ear. Now we've got tape cut over here. I cut three sets. So I have a total of six pieces of tape right now you want to focus on. One is always longer. Second one's a little bit less longer. The third one's a little bit less. So we're going to start with the longest piece of tape. We're going to come over here to the ear. Start at the bottom. Facing towards the head. It is very important how you wrap this. Always start at the bottom and always face towards the head. You'll have a natural fold in the ear right here as well. You want to fold into the post. So you take the tape. Always remember, do not pull the tape. You are wrapping the tape, not pulling the tape around the ear. So you want to wrap. As I go, I hold and squish. Hold and squish. Wrap it around. Come around the ear. And I put pressure. And squish the ear so the tape sticks. Remember, you did not do it tight. And I kind of cut this down into the corner. I take my scissors and gently just make sure the tape sticks. So that is the first part of the ear. Remember, you did this fold inside the ear. You Make sure you fold that, like this one. You'll fold it. You don't want it to come out like this. You want it to fold. So I'll grab a second piece of tape, a second length. You'll do it just the same fashion. Start, wrap towards the head, 
Remember, not tight. You're wrapping the ear. So I press, come back around. No matter how long you cut the tape, you always have to cut extra. <laughs> so I cut this off. Good girl. I know, good girl. Press, press, press. Make sure the tape's tight. Grab our third piece of tape. Do the same exact thing. Now the top's very important. You want to leave a little bit of space so when you take them off. Make sure you're leaving a little space between them, which that's sufficient. You want to be able to see a little bit of that ear. You're just wrapping it, remember, not tight. Now, that ear's done. Now what I do is I just tighten, make sure I just sit and press the tape on. And then I sit and roll my finger up. You can feel that cable tie inside there. Make sure all the tape is sticking really good and these buggers won't come out. So we continue that on the other ear. Take the long piece of tape. Start at the bottom. Sometimes you'll have to just move the puppy around what's comfortable for your hand as well. So we're going to move her this way. Just a little. Remember to fold the ear. You don't want to do it too low either. See how he's doing it too low right there. Hold the ear. Hold the ear up while you do it. And come back down. Press, press, press. Take your scissors. You don't like the sound of the scissors in it, do you? Press, press. Again. Stop. Stop. You're on camera, Ginger. Start. Go around. Remember, make sure that crease is in the ear. You want it tight enough so it's not loose and wrinkling in the ear, but do not tighten it. Third piece of tape, same fashion, just remember you're leaving a little bit at the top. Just like so. Now that finished product, make sure you press the tape so it stays on. Now I do this not for any reason other than cosmetic to make them look less bulky. Kind of just cut the tape down a little bit, round the tip off up here. Just make sure you don't cut the puppy's ear. So just come around it off. Especially where it's sticky. Now we'll make the bridge. So you have one really long piece of tape. You want to take the scissors and cut it in half. Not that far. Flip it back around. And do the same to the other end. Okay, now you'll take this. You got the sticky sides, so you'll stick half of it. So you've got two sticky sides open like this, and then that's stuck in between. get off my finger. So I take it like this and then I take it down to the bottom of the ear like so. Kind of just hold her ear up. She's going to wiggle. And then I stick it. I'm going to wrap one end around right here. Stick it. 
one end around. It's always easier to get the first one started and then you can work on the second side. So just press, press, press again. Now it's very important, this side always tends to stick on you. So open it back up. You want to make sure their ear set's pretty high when you're doing this because it's kind of to help with ear set along with shaking. I made this one a little long, so we'll end up cutting a little bit of tape off. So we'll pull one side around, cut a little piece off, pull the other side around, cut another little piece off. Make sure you press. Okay, so you want to press the tape. Now this part you want to do, you want to make this part up here as thin as possible. So you cut, kind of cut it in half, just don't cut the puppy's head. See how I cut it in half? And you cut the piece off. And that? Is how you post ears. Thank you, Chris.